Hey guys, what's up? So, I don't know about you, but I know for most of my life, I've said things like, yeah, I'll do that when I'm an adult, or when I'm grown up, I wanna be like that, or when I'm an adult, I wanna be just like you. And then I realized, I am an adult. So I better start acting like one. This year has been full of reflection and being aware of myself and I put together some sort of a list that I was like, I think these things mean I'm grown up and so I'm gonna work on it, do it, live it, be this. So yeah, here we go. 10 signs that you are an adult. Number one, you save money for different reasons. When you're younger, money only exists to buy things or go places, but when you're older, oddly enough, you might be making more money, but you'll have less of it because all your money is going to paying bills, life expenses, taxes, savings, and you just have a lot more responsibilities. But that's okay, learning to manage your finances is a huge sign of growing up. I feel like I catch myself these days shopping and saying things like, eh, I don't think I really need that. The more often I catch myself saying that, I realize, wow, I really don't need a lot of those things. And I think when I was younger, I used to waste a lot of money on things I didn't really need. And so, yeah, this one's tough for me, but I am working on it. So that is definitely a sign of growing up. You actually need exercise. What I mean by this is when I was younger, you know, going to the gym or working out, taking classes, staying fit was sort of something to do to be active and just to have fun. But now, if I miss a day or two of working out, I will literally be paying for it. My body will be dying, I will be dying, and yeah. When you get older, it's about maintaining. It's so different. I remember when I was in college, I would literally be able to eat like an extra large pizza, two Chipotle burritos, like a foot long and more things and just go to sleep and wake up fine. I, I, I don't know how my body did that. I think it's something called youth and metabolism, but as you get older, you really have to learn to maintain that, so yeah. But hey, working out is great, it's good for your health, it's good for your heart, it's great for your body, and the endorphins make you happy, so Go exercise. You don't care what school. And you really don't care what other people think anymore. I feel like when you're younger, it's really important to fit in and be accepted or be cool and you're worrying a lot about what other people think. I know I was all the time, but you get older and you realize it just doesn't matter and you're busy living your life and doing you. You no longer have FOMO. You would rather sleep in, take a bath, or have 10 minutes to yourself than be at a party wondering why you're there thinking, oh my gosh, I should be doing my laundry, my taxes, my bills, uh, cleaning my house, washing the dishes. Yeah, super fun things that grown-ups do. But yeah, I am often caught in that situation where I'm like, I should be doing other things than sitting here. And I don't feel so bad when I'm not invited to a party anymore because, like I said, no more FOMO on a good day at least, on the days I'm an adult. But there are also days where I'm not an adult and I definitely have FOMO. Okay, anyways, you know how to say sorry. I'm sorry. You know how to accept the blame. You know how to admit when you're wrong because let's admit it, we're wrong a lot of times. Everybody makes mistakes, it's okay. But a sign of being grown up is being able to say, I'm sorry, period. No buts, no excuses, just I'm sorry. I screwed up, it was my fault. As grown-ups, you'll still get in arguments and fights and whatever, but these days when my friends and I get in arguments or fights, it's always resolved pretty quick because we're just like, hey, I'm sorry, I screwed up. And then you sort of hash it out and yeah. Learning how to say sorry is huge. Being able to take constructive criticism. I know it's hard when somebody is criticizing you or telling you that you're not doing things very well, but generally speaking, if you are getting feedback or criticism, whether it be from your boss or a friend or someone you've asked for their opinion, I think it's a sign of being an adult when you can take it with a grain of salt and be okay with maybe not being right or being the best or whatever it is, but knowing that they're just trying to help you be better. When you're younger, constructive criticism makes you feel bad and you get butt hurt and maybe you get angry. But I think as you get older, constructive criticism is really nice because to be honest, if you ask someone their opinion and you want some criticism, but they say, oh yeah, that's great. That dress does not make you look fat, but it actually does. Then that person really doesn't care about you. But if they care, they will be like, yes, actually this is what I think. And accepting them is a sign of growing up. Haters don't bother you and it doesn't really upset you when people don't like you anymore. I feel like when I was younger, I always wanted people to like me and it really bothered me when I would hear so-and-so doesn't like you. I'd be like, why? Why don't they like me? What did I do? What did I do wrong? But 
I feel like it's a sign of being grown up when you realize you have a good group of friends and a community of people that love you and care for you and know you, and that's all that matters. Haters can think what they think. Haters will really always just hate. Even if you try to convince them in the best way possible, they hate, they're just gonna hate because they're just hateful people. Not everyone is gonna like you. That's okay. All you really need are the people that like you. And if nobody likes you, just tell yourself that people like you. That's what I do. No? Okay. Learning to manage your time. I mean, honestly, everybody's busy and you're only gonna get busier as life progresses. I remember when I was in high school, I thought it was the busiest that I would ever be with cheerleading, dance, softball, whatever. I was doing taekwondo, all these things, piano lessons, cello lessons. And then in college, I thought that would be the busiest I would be with all these clubs and cheering and church and friends and activities and school and studying and oh, that's my phone. Let me mute that. But yeah, I thought I would be so busy and it would never end. I didn't have time. I was so, so hard to manage my time. But then you get older and you realize it just gets that much busier and that much harder because not only do you have all your fun things and friends and all that sort of good stuff, you also have like the reality of life, managing a job, managing potentially a family, relationships, children, whatever it may be. You will always be busy. But learning to be an adult is managing your time and making time for all the things that are important to you and balancing it out because balance is everything. Life is no fun if you're only doing what you need to do or if you're only doing what you want to do. I feel like it's about having a healthy balance. I feel like sometimes people start dating and they only hang out with the person that they're dating and they only invest time into that relationship. That's really bad because hello, your friends and your family are like, what the heck? What am I? Chopped liver? Manage your time better. You know how to make decisions and face your own problems. Of course, it's appropriate to ask for help when you really need it and asking for help is also a sign of maturity. But what I mean by this is really knowing how to be assertive and making the right judgment calls in your own life sometimes. Growing up in most of my life, I always asked for everybody else's opinion and I always wanted everyone else's approval because I didn't trust myself. For example, if I liked someone, instead of asking myself, do I like this person, it was more important for me that everybody else did. Do you think I should date this person? Do you think I should? Do you think we're good for each other? Do you like him? I don't know. I, I think I like him. Do you like him? You like him? Oh, okay. I like him. Like what? No. If I'm going to be dating him, it should be important that I like him. Right? Yes, their opinions matter, but it's not everything. Anyways, yeah, learning to make a decision and being assertive in your life. Trusting the choices you make. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Don't wreck yourself. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think that's right. You're okay that life didn't turn out how you thought it would turn out. Maybe your dreams and hopes didn't all come true, and for most people that is the case, but you're okay with how it is because that's life. You set new goals, you have new dreams, and you just continue changing and adjusting with life as life throws you lemons. You make lemonade, right? Like that's the thing. Being a grown up means you're okay with that. You're no longer comparing yourself to others or being jealous. You're just living your life and doing you because hey, so many of these things are out of your control and all you can do is live your life the best that you can. Anyways, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this list. I know that it has helped me a lot sort of, I don't know, things together in my life or get my head back on straight or whatever it may be but these are my 10 signs of being an adult thanks for watching guys subscribe comment below do those things and i'll see y'all the next time yeah actually if i think about it it's pretty crazy when i was in college i would literally bake a double layer chocolate cake eat that with a bucket of ice cream and then just go i don't know hang out and it was all good but yeah now straight to the hips